guys. Well, back out again this morning. Come to a place where uh, I came, I think it was late summer. I'll put the link up there for you to catch up with that. There's a bit of a sunset photography um, in the fog. It's uh, nowhere near those temperatures today. It's about zero degrees or minus one, I think it was when I left the car. With the sun, it's a little bit warmer, but not much, I can tell you. And as you saw, the dew pond is somewhat frozen a little. So when I get to the top of the hill, I'm going to show you what I think is a an old World War II gun emplacement. It's literally just the bowl. It's nice to have a look at. And then, uh, just have a bit of a walk, stretch the legs, and uh, grab some of this mighty fine fresh air. On the right track. Since this ground was made up to be a grazing area for sheep and cows, they've erected fences along the perimeter of this one that you see here now. And that stretches all the way down to the bottom of the reserve. I can't remember. <coughs> I can't remember in my mind if it's down the bottom there, down that way, or if it's just slightly over the hill that way where that uh, area of grassland is over there, or bushes. So, the nearest gate is up this way. So, I think I'll go this way. If not, we've got to walk back down. Find this amazing bit of farm machinery. I guess it's some kind of raker. Farmer jars clearly don't need that anymore. The closer I get to this, it's looking more like a dew pond. Concrete base that runs around. How slippery is that? It's all the way frost. It's a concrete base that runs around the ring. Then you've got that area in the middle there which is overgrown. Runs around the whole ring of the whole area. And then you have this bit in the middle. So, is this a gun emplacement from World War II? Or 
Uh, is it a jukebox? It's quite large. I'd say it's. Uh, it's big. Park over there. Interesting. I just made it for a quarter mile of, sorry, a quarter mile of cow feces and mud, which is pleasant. I'm just come up here now to one place for a cup of tea. They come. There's ice.
there are moments when uh, when you're just sitting there and everything's quiet you don't hear anything and you see a couple of robins playing and they're kind of darting in and out the trees and, and what have you and I turned away just for like a few seconds it has to be a few seconds to pick up my cup to have a drink of tea and uh, I just heard this big flap of wings like big wings and I looked over and this os not osprey, sorry, this bird of prey, I'm not too sure which one, kestrel probably, just come flying up from the ground. I didn't even hear the thing land and it just it got one of these robins. And I didn't even hear the thing land. It was that silent and it grabbed it, saw me, and it flew off. And uh, well it hasn't been back since. But wow, that was quite that was pretty awesome. Just moments I never have my camera running. I had this camera and I was taking a few shots of the Robins plane. Uh, didn't get it while well, it was being eaten by a bigger bird. Sad for the bird, but that's nature. Well, that's the end of the video. Hope you liked what you saw today. Don't forget to check out all my other videos that are on there from 2016. <clears throat> don't forget to hit the subscribe button and put a like on it if you like or a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video see you soon